What up, everyone? This is Wild Phil with Wild Roast, the show where we roast people who should have gotten roasted, so I roast them, all right? Let's get started. And today, we're doing none other than Pantera. Phil and someone looks like if he wasn't in Pantera, he'd be like the owner of a sketchy gun shop that even gun owners would be like, yeah, uh, after two days, this jammed because of the rust, and why is there a swastika carved in this? Rex Brown looks like that guy that you pay 20 bucks to be in your porno because you don't got enough money to do a background check. And you're like, oh, it's between this guy and the local wigger who collects, uh, you know, half-smoked Newports at the gas station. I guess I guess we'll have this Rex Brown guy. Dimebag. Dimebag's guitar playing is so fucking boring, I'm not even joking. I used to think that he made the Power Rangers theme song. But then again, let's not give Ron Wasserman a bad name. Go, go, Power Rangers! Vinny's drums sound like a cardboard drum set hooked up to triggers and you're using, like, Casio keyboard drum effects. What can I say about the Abbott brothers that hasn't been said? They both look like the brothers of Guy Fieri who didn't get famous, so they, like, switch off driving Guy's tour bus in between diabetic shots, and they love getting paid in hamburgers. I used to think modern country music was all about desperate rednecks selling out and writing poppy music to get ahead. And then, I saw Pantera's first hair metal video. Yeah. I wonder how that went about. Phil was like, Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that glam rock is what's, what's cool these days. Oh, it's not cool anymore? Let's be like Metallica. I wish with the Pantera reunion, I at least wish they would, like, own up to their views, you know? If you're going to reunite, call yourselves Clantera, re-release Proud Boys from Hell, and maybe even Vulgar Display of White Power. You know what? It is impossible to do a Pantera roast without referencing Panera Bread to all you cheesy fans. No pun intended. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? All right, let's try. Well, you know what? I love Dimebag's last performance because, you know what? He started off as sourdough bread, and within a few pops, he quickly turned into bruschetta or focaccia bread. He looked delicious. You know, a lot of people bitch about Dimebag's Confederate flag guitar, and I think that the best way to compromise is to stop bitching. But you should replace the flag with a white flag because you guys did lose the war. I love it when metal bands do some Nazi shit that they're definitely busted for and hearing the excuses. It's like listening to an 8th grader. Because, like, when Phil did that whole Zeke Heil thing, he's like, oh, no, no, it, it, I didn't do it, no. Well, then what did you do? Oh, I was just like, oh, look, a mosquito, oh, look, a UFO, oh, look, a mosquito, oh, look, a UFO. What are you guys thinking? You used to have a guy that had a red beard the most popular color for a crosshair, and camo pants, which you're trying to hide your legs in the bushes, and then you replace them with a guy who has a literal bullseye on his guitar. You know, if anything happens to Zach Wilde, I think you should get, like, a mumble rapper who's got on his face tattooed, shoot right here. Wow! Wow! 